Hey fragrance family, I'm David and I'm a fragrance bro. Welcome to 5 Fragrances You Should Buy. I try out so many different fragrances from samples all the time and I don't get enough time to review every single one. But I want to make this series as a way that I can talk about these really great fragrances that I love, that I would want to buy, and that I recommend that you should buy. Eventually I probably will do reviews of this, but as for now, you need to buy this. Let's start with the first one. The first one on the list is Sartorial by Penhaligans. Now this is no slouch in the fragrance community. This has a very high reputation um, among critics and uh, the fragrance community on YouTube and, and Facebook, etc. Uh, but this is just a really great fragrance that I think that is very wearable as well as very artistic. It's supposed to smell like a tailor's workroom, um, but really what I get out of it is this really fresh, spicy, aromatic fragrance and it's a little bit on the mature side but I think there are times when you want to smell like that but I really think that this is very very masculine and it is very wearable and it is on the fresh side of that spicy realm if you can if you can say that so that one I really recommend the next one on the list is Tom Ford's Reeve d'Ambre now Reeve d'Ambre was released with Tom Ford's Oriental Collection and it doesn't get a lot of press on there the ones that usually get the most press and that one uh, is Plum Japonais. But this one I really think is the shining light in that collection. This one is a citrus based scent and uh, I think everyone generally really likes citrus based scents. But this one is a rock star. Let me tell you, I smelled it and it is amazing. One of the best orange scents I have ever smelled bar none. Up next is Un Jardin Sur le Nil by Hermes. Now Hermes has several different collections. This one is their collection that is talking about water and rivers. Uh, and this one to me is their best in that line. Uh, all of them are fantastic. I really think that all of them are worth buying. But today I'm going to focus on uh, Un Jardin Sur le Nil. Um, it has a lot of personal memories for me. And um, I'll get to that when, whenever I get on a review of that. But very green, um, very fresh, supposed to smell like uh, f fresh green mangoes, uh, almost unripe, picked right from the, uh, from the tree. You should also go pick up the book uh, The Perfect Scent by Chandler Burr. He talks a lot about this fragrance and the steps that it took to create this, and it is really fascinating. It really made me appreciate this scent even more. Next is Epice Marine by Hermes. This is part of the newest addition to the Hermescence collection and I really think this is one of the shining lights in their collection. It is an aquatic and it does have a cumin note and those two kind of seem like they don't really go together but for some reason it really works and it's very very wearable especially if you like aquatics. It's very fresh, it has a, a, a really bright citrus note in there too. It is a little bit more on the mainstream side for Hermes than I'm used to, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's very much a dumb reach. You can get it any any time. This is really only available in the Hermes stores, so you need to go to the Hermes stores and try it for yourself, but it's really worth a buy. Last on this list is Voyage d'Hermes by Hermes. Uh, this is another one that is talked about a lot, uh, but I just got this recently and I'm in love with this fragrance. Um, some people don't think this has very good longevity, but I get really great longevity with this. It's uh, very citrusy and musky and has some tea and cardamom in it. And it really comes off as kind of like this fresh bleached laundry smell. And it's really, really amazing. I also want to mention that there is a uh, parfum version of this, but I do not recommend that at all. Um, I don't find that it adds anything to the performance and doesn't really smell any different. So I really don't recommend that at all, but the original Voyage d'Hermes, well worth a buy. Thanks for joining me in 5 Fragrances You Should Buy. I really hope you liked it. You really love the scents. I'll see you next time. Bye.